hello my dear students today in this video lecture we are going to discuss about ecosystem so what is ecosystem my dear students it is a community of living things that interact with each other and with the physical world next thing is about ecosystem the plants and animals within each ecosystem interact with each other and the non living elements of the ecosystem like climate precipitation and soil students can you tell me what is the meaning of precipitation so precipitation is in biological terms it is called rainfall moving towards next point an ecosystem it can be very small such as a puddle or under a rock it can be as big as an ocean or a desert and the balance of ecosystem is very important all thing must work together to provide a good living environment for example if there is not enough water plants and animals will die and the ecosystem will not exist and here are some examples of ecosystem like desert arctic tundra rainforest oceans african savanna and swamp next point is producers i think students you all know what are producers they are also called autotrophs all the green plant that can make their own food they are called autotrophs and examples are plant trees and flowers as you can see in, in this picture also next thing is consumers what are consumers a living thing that gets its food from eating other living things for example polar bear eating a fish a bird eating a berry and a zebra eating a grass decomposers are what a living thing that breaks down other living things to get nutrients and energy for example vulture eat dead animals worms and beetles eat dead decaying plants next is pollution a group of living things that live in a same place at a same time it is called pollution and examples like many penguins live in the arctic many elephants live in the african savanna now students what is community when different population they live together in the same habitat and interact with each other here it is very important to know what is habitat children habitat is the address of any particular species where it is residing for example elephants giraffe and zebra they all live together in savanna so savanna is the habitat of all these animals and uh, next we are going to discuss about abiotic and biotic factors so abiotic factors are the physical factors like sunlight water rainfall and biotic factors are all the living organism in an ecosystem they will called as biotic factors next point is about food chain dear students this shows what eats what and in an ecosystem in an ecosystem one organism depends on the another so there are different trophic levels for example on first trophic level autotrophs are there or they are called producers for example green plants on green plants herbivores are dependent so they are called primary consumers and on herbivores carnivores are dependent so they are called secondary consumers and next point will be top consumers this is the food chain of an owl here plant is acting as a producer and these plants are de and these insects are dependent on this plant and mouse is dependent on insect these are herbivore this is omnivore or consumer you can say and this owl is also carnivore or consumer and next is food web food chain is a linear sequence dear children this is a linear sequence and but food web is it is a interconnect or interlinking of different animals it consists of all the food chains within a particular ecosystem this is the food web which is found in forest for example these are the plants on which these small herbivores are dependent on this herbivore sea stars are dependent on the sea star larger crabs are dependent and these larger fish are top consumers so this shows that each and every organism they are interlinked with each other so this is about the ecosystem topic my dear students thank you bye bye